You know what? Someone told me that my Ghana visa has expired. So I need to get out of here. I'm Ghanaian, <laughs> man. I don't use Ghana visa. I use Ghana passport. I'm on my way to Sierra Leone and uh, you know there's this beautiful lady that I've talked to. I feel like no, I need to bring her on the show before I leave Ghana. She's the last person that I'm gonna talk to. And uh, hey, look behind us, this is a beautiful Kotoka International Airport. It's really beautiful, huh? Eh? It is, it How is. How often do you use this airport? Oh gosh, probably four or five times in a year sometimes. <laughs> She's saying that four to five times, which yeah. means you're a world traveler. Yep, I am. How many countries have you been to? Um, I've done 45, 45 countries so far, yes. 20 okay. African countries and the other 20 is spread between Africa and Europe and Asia. Uh, Asia. Asia. That's inspiring. Well, how thanks. do you manage to do all that? Well, sometimes work takes me um, abroad. For mm. instance, when I was in China, okay. um, I came there to teach mm -hmm. um, professionals in China. And then sometimes I just volunteer. For instance, uh, there was a time I traveled across Africa mm. and it was mainly to get the world view of young Africans and mm. also volunteer my skills as a professional. So who, if someone is looking for a job, how can I help them you know, get skills? So I did that for free. It seems I don't even know what to do. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Because you're talking about professional, someone in China might think that, oh, you're going to teach English? No. What were you doing in China? So I was actually teaching Chinese professionals uh, how to behave when they go to other countries. countries. And there were a lot of them, there were over a thousand professionals wow. traveling all over the world. Wow. So you know how our cultures and norms are different. Wow. And somehow they've been excluded, you know, they have their own. Oh, you know, you know, know, I, know I, I know what you're so, talking yeah, about. So how they have to behave and adapt to other cultures and not just behave the way they behave when they come home. So, what is your main occupation? What do you do? Huh, I wear a number of hats, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, the short one is, I'm a writer, okay. I'm an educator, and then I'm a traveler. Amazing. Right? So, I'm a training consultant. I, I'm an intercultural fluency master trainer. Mm. So, whatever culture you want to go into and adapt, I help you transition. Wow. in adapting to cultures wow. and then also I develop wow. courses so job wow. seekers wow. how to really excel at interviews and stuff like that and then I'm now I'm building digital courses I'm actually looking for you so that we can collaborate on some digital courses you have so many things to share with the world you know how quiet I am <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 I'm happy to sit down with most intelligent young African I've ever met oh Ooh. now let me let me shake your hey. you know, like, I would love to hug you, you know? hey let's hug <laughs> hey. let's continue the video Let's continue the video. When you were traveling in Africa, let's compare traveling in Africa as compared to traveling in other part of the continent, like not uh, other part of the world. How was it like? What, what, what are the borders? Is it difficult? Ooh. <laughs> traveling in Africa can be challenging. I mean, I look at your videos and I see the, the stuff that you've got to me. I mean, my, I wish I had a hat to literally take it off to you. Like, but it's, it's challenging. It's challenging, especially the way they treat us Africans. Africans. And non Africans don't necessarily go through the kind of challenge that we go through. So it's, it's, it can be challenging, especially by road. You know, by road. I remember doing a trip from Namibia to Botswana. And it was a single entry visa from Namibia. They gave me so much hassle wow. in, in Botswana. You know, so we, 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 we can do better. I think that we can do better within us. We can us. really yeah. do better within us. So what I'm going to tell you is that, do you think that Africa should remove borders? I, I think that they, they can. You know, in a way, they, they can. Not they can, but then they should put in checks. Because if you travel around Europe, they have the Schengen zone, mm. and no one is really checking. Every mm. now and then, if you're in a place like um, Switzerland, they might stop if you're driving by road. They might stop the bus and then, you know, check exactly. and ask people to come down and check. And it's not just black people, also, you know, other, other people. And they check that everything is, is, is okay. So I think that they, they can't, it's, I mean, it's open for debate, but yeah. they should make it a bit easier for Africans because it's sad to see that you're crossing the border as an African and your fellow African, you are there to legit, you know, just go on vacation, on holiday, or even like me, I was going to help people with skills. And I was being stretched for no reason, my own money. And then you see people who are non-Africans, they just let them go. go. And for me, that is not fair. So it's open to debate, but at least they should, you know, rethink that. You know, or at least make it, yeah, visa free when you come, they should check, but not, you know, um, tight fisted. You've been traveling to four to five countries, you've traveled to four to five countries. Yeah. What are you going to tell young Africans who are looking for work? 
to travel within their own continent and also outside the continent? I, I feel that travel for me, travel has built my confidence in such a great way. It opens up my mind to other people. And you know, like just yesterday I got a text message from someone because I sent her a video of me in Ghana, a Japanese girl I met in Sweden. And she said, thank you for showing me your beautiful continent. I'll show you the text after all. Well, because if we are not also traveling to educate other Africa to the world is a fantastic idea. I believe in that strongly, you know. But I feel that if every time we travel out, we should also be ambassadors and educate people about our continent because the media is not going to do it for us. So wherever we are, we should. So I feel that we should travel, we should, even amongst Africa, we should travel and get to know each other. They are trying to divide us. We should travel and connect better. You know, someone is sitting home right now thinking that, ah, this lady is bragging, travel to 45 countries, blah, blah, blah. This <laughs> is her passport. Like, one, two, three, four. There's a fifth one I can't find you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to um, educate a lot of young Africans out yeah. there. Do you have a YouTube channel or something? I do have a YouTube channel. I was on break, but now I'm back. And Please. I'm educating Please. young Africans how to navigate the whole Please, be back so. just for me. <laughs> I will. And then educate a lot of people out yeah, there for me because I cannot do this all the time by myself. I'm doing my part, but I would love to bring people like you on board, yeah. help educate people on how to go to this country, how to do that, how yeah. to do that. And I want to say thank you so much, but you know what? I did a mistake. I didn't even ask you what's your name. My name is Edem Ajaho. Edem Ajaho. Nice meeting you. Yes, I am Maya. I am Maya. Thank you. Wow. It's, an, it's an honor. Thank you for Same having here. me. Thank you.